that Citizens United is basically uh, where our, our Supreme Court took the shackles off of any sort of uh, campaign finance laws, and now it's just it's wide open. Anybody can donate anyhow Anything. they want. Yeah. They've got secret secret of super PACs Out, that can take money, money from anywhere. And, you know, I mean, to, to the point where they can take money from, from, you China, know, from China, uh, from, China, from China, Saudi Arabia. You know, yeah, to, to encourage our politicians to, you know, work on their behalf in terms of bringing business to China and stuff yeah. like that. It's completely insane. So Clarence Thomas was the deciding vote, five to four. The, you know, and his wife works for... America's Prosperity and something like that. One of those, yeah. She got a $700,000 unreported tax to the IRS. Citizens United. And that's Sarah is Thomas's wife. Bottom line, it's un American. It's the buying of our politicians, and it needs to be struck down. It can't be struck down through the Supreme Court, from my understanding. It's in the works. It's in the works. There's, ar there's, already, there's already committed looking into it. Um, they can overturn that vote. We don't need to have our politicians bought and sold by these corporations. Not even, like I said, it's not even just about uh, now people here and corporations here and rich folks here that want to buy out the politicians. Now, if it can, if money can come in from around the, uh, the world, then literally our entire process is at risk of being bought by around by anyone around the world. No, we need to have one person, one vote, period, and our politicians need to be beholden to us. Exactly. Because, of course, you know, if someone's going to give them, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions to the their campaign and to their super yeah. PACs, and stuff like that, of course they're going to vote the way that corporation wants and them especially to vote. Right no matter if it's good for the country or not. That and that's, what that's just unacceptable. And it's un-American and it's unconstitutional. And that is my biggest issue in all of this, in all of Occupy LA and Wall Street and everything like that. Get money out of politics and then we'll talk. Alex, then we'll see what, our, our, uh, what, we, what we've got to work with here Alex, and who the politicians are working with. Once the money is out, then, then we can have the system work for us again. Yeah. For all of us, you know? Alec writes <laughs> legislation. And who's that? American Legislation yeah. Exchange Council. They're, they're a part, the Cook Brothers, they're, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of high corporate companies together. And they write legislation. They actually write the legislation. They hand it to the senators, the representative, and they say, this is what we want done. Go do it. This is what we want done. This is exactly what we want. They give them the folder, everything is right. Boom. That's how that's how the stuff is right now. Oh, and can I just add actually too? Here's an example of why we gotta get money out of politics. When you read and hear about lobbyists who are told to write the laws for the congressmen, there are lobbyists that sit down in congressmen's offices and they write the laws the they way they want the, the law to be written. That's that Alec. is insane. That's that is insane. I mean, exactly if anyone doesn't happening. think that that's rife with corruption, uh, I have news. You know? Wait, who of us, of, of citizens, who walk into our Congress's office and sit down and write a law and hand it to them and say, here, I want you to, uh, you know. Woo -hoo! Well, that's what I'm saying. We don't have our laws. You know, so that we, we, can, don't, we don't have yeah, a lobby. We can say, here, I want you to pass this and they're just going to listen to me. Yeah. No, no, no. They barely listen to us when we're in huge groups. They barely listen to their own constituents. They listen to the money. That's what they listen to. And that has got to be cut off. Our politicians have to work for us again. All, again, all of us. I'm not saying that rich people don't have a say in their government. They, they have do. a say in our government the way all of us should have a say in exactly. our government. Exactly. We just want a level playing field. Right. That's all we want. We just want it to be fair. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I'm not anti-rich. I'm not anti-capitalist. I'm not anti-you anti, know, Bill Gates, money. you know, going work for you. and building a monstrous company of the sweat of his I'm not anti any of those things. What I am for is for the people. We, the people, this is our constitution. Our government, it's our government. Yeah, exactly. It's our and, government. and we need it back. That's yeah, it. talking about <laughs> give my government back. Yeah. Yeah, give my government back. That's right. Exactly. Work for the people, not Work the corporation. Work for the people, not for the corporation. That's that's get the money out of government, out of politics. I swear everything will start changing.